Hey guys, it's B-I-E-N-D-E-O. Because that's how I count. Anyway, we're on to stage 13 because I didn't really wait for the... There's Mexicans in the airport now! Anyway, so we got Lego shaped ground. Wow, I can't steer. The snakes! Snakes on a plane! Holy crap. Everything is against us. You know, pretty much the only new enemies are... Nothing, really. I think they throw in, like, one new enemy in this stage. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how they have different enemies for this. Like, they have just general enemies that don't make any context. In this stage, but anyway. Jump on the suitcase and... Now we're on to this bit. Okay, now firstly, you're gonna need to jump on the suitcase eye to be able to jump across. There's a lot of x-ray scanners, it's kind of weird. Why do they use multiple x-ray scanners? It's like suddenly the case will, will get x- uh, will have some sort of weapon in it. By the way, don't bother jumping down below because that's where we started. I may as well warn you about that. So anyway, these blue suitcases are very fragile because of their blue. Anyway, now we're, now we're going along this section for the third time. Die, bird! Pew, pew, pew. And now we're collecting more little tykes because we ran out of ideas. But that's okay because, you know, it's... It's stage 13, we're near the end of the game. In fact, we pretty much are in the ending of the game. There's another level. I know there's another level, but... Wait, which bit are you at? Uh, I'm just in the beginning. Oh, you're in the airport, you know? And I really shouldn't have fallen. Oh, you're... Are you in the lobby of the airport? Or in the... bit where... all the lunch goes? Nah, uh, I'm a, I'm a bit of where all the luggage goes. Very good. Sorry. The bit is awesome. The next bit after that isn't that the bit the plane. Bit? Yeah, yeah, that's the bit with the planes. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. Modern games they don't have the the uh, epic build up, or at least they sh they don't really have all this cool build up. Like you're just moving on to bigger things as you go along. Like uh. Like Mario Galaxy, I could kind of see it because you were going to the lava stages as usual. But like, um, you know, I can't really think of anything that. Like, I, I, I'm gonna relate this back to Battlefield 3 because I don't like that game very much. Um, throughout the game, the enemies there weren't really any challenging things. It was basically just hide behind cover the whole time. It didn't really get any more difficult, although it probably did because there were more enemies, but. Dang, Mexicans that take so many hits. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was no builder. And then the last stage, it was just like, so easy. I mean, I know you've never played it, but... But, um, like, you know what I mean. There was just no build-up to the end of the game. There is a build-up here, you know. Toys going against planes and all that stuff. Oh, the Mexicans are... Everywhere, man. That also helps to actually hit them. Maybe if I say that enough, it'll come true. Anyway, so in the... No, this is the lobby area. Okay, this is the lobby area. Oh, yeah. No, I mean like the lobby area of the inside of the airport thingy. You know? Yeah. We check Which has bags. a... Yeah. No, 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 no. There's, there's like this central room that goes up very high. Yeah, because next field of that is... It's outside, it's no lobby. No. The bit after that is where... Oh, no, no. Because <laughs> they no, have no, that they're... cutscene! What? They have the cutscene where they go through the thing and then they see all the bags and then they go find Woody in one of them. No, 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 that's at the end of this. Yeah. And then they gotta find Jesse. Yeah. Isn't it kind of weird how you don't play as Woody in the entire thing? Mm. 
It's weird because Woody pretty much, no, Bullseye did the work at the end of the game. But you know, they just throw a stage together. And uh, I'll, I'll pretty much go with it. So anyway, after all that climbing, thankfully I didn't fall. Uh... Ah, dang, Mexicans. So anyway, they put Sludge in the stage because obviously it's the fairest thing to do. Anyway, we're going to save that guy for later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to take out all these Mexicans. Anyway. So there's a bunch of stuff in this stage. And that's a bit that I'll have to do later. So I guess we'll talk to that guy. You're thinking, are you collecting for that guy? No, that's the race. It's a bit, it's a bit odd. It's kind of weird how the RC car is just completely abandoned after the first few stages. Ah, so anyway, what you gotta do is you gotta collect the, the smart bells. I mean the dumb bells. I believe they're scattered. I believe there may be one over to the other side of this, but I'm not 100% sure. No, no, no. Okay, back it up, back it up. Because we're going in here anyway. I have no clue where that last dumbo is. I think it's actually in here. Nope. That's the problem, they, you just have no clue where they are here. Because they can't... Oh, wait, no. Oh, I remember, it's on the conveyor. So I gotta do this again. It doesn't even make a sound, that's kind of weird. But you know, end game. I'll excuse it for not even trying to repeat content, although the enemies are a bit uninspired. Mexicans! Ah. <laughs> Die, Mexicans. There you go, that was where the one I was looking for was. Maybe, yes. I spent half the time looking for them now, and now I'm just going to walk back. See, it's difficult to find out where they are, but you know, by this stage and you've got all the items and they don't even use any for the last stage, although I think they use the rocket boots for one. Yeah, the, yeah, the rocket boots, they're not required in the last stage, but they're there. In fact, none of these items are required, pretty much. You can beat the game without having to get any of them. So anyway, we're gonna head in here, because this is where we gotta go. Anyway, we're in, like, the hangar area. Although I don't know what it's doing in the actual luggage area, but okay. So anyway, that's the person we gotta deliver the little types to. I don't know why I'm beatboxing, but okay. Holy snap that bullet! So anyway, just push this thing. Bit. Until you get over here. You can get that coin, I don't feel like it. What? Oh. Anyway. Holy snap, look at this physics engine, it's so cool. No time to lose. This toy weighs down this huge random piece of metal. Nintendo logic. Bong. Thankfully, the physics on this actually works well. If you stand near the end of it, it'll push it down faster than if you weren't. Than if you were standing in the middle. I do like the design of this stage. And the next stage. So we found his mouth. You know what's actually kind of weird? You can, you can talk to him and he'll tell you he'll need his mouth. That makes no sense, doesn't it? 
You think he'd be over that by now, the fact that he's not. Um, yeah, that's the annoying thing. These things, while they're on, they will shove you in that one direction. What is with one direction? I, oh, and then I gotta head back here. That's pretty mean, now you have to partially climb this place just to... Wait, hold on. I was gonna say, is that my conscience? But no. So anyway, now we're gonna jump down and then we're gonna talk to him about the, the current financial crisis. Ah! Anyway, we're gonna to talk to him. Looks like we got ourselves some so anyway, what he meant by that was if you go over here. Why am I going over here? If you go over here and then you start climbing up these suitcases, you'll find yourself kinda of stuck. Over here, but if you grab the boots, the hover boots, basically you hold down X and then you just fly up. But you can only hover so much above the actual ground. That can get you to places. Well, that, although you're gonna need it for a long, longer time. Problem about this first thing is that they don't really. It's a bit confusing. Anyway, you just kind of get yourself up there and. Ha ha, defeat the prospector. Holy snap, we were supposed to defeat him, weren't we? Again, he doesn't die except without the spin. Thankfully, he... <laughs> Thankfully, you can do this. Oh, I didn't explode. Even though I sounded like I was exploding, I was exploding in, in rage. So anyway, we'll keep on playing because if you go over to the other side, you'll find a battery and some more luggage to jump on. So you're thinking, how much will they use this hover, hover boots thing? You know, the technology, I don't know how they got it, but okay. Actually, no, the hover boots is more, is more advanced. Okay, so anyway, we'll just head back to this first place. How long are we? 13 minutes, okay. I'm just worrying, because I gotta I got go back to stage 7 to get all the chickens. Basically, yeah. So we've got two more tokens to get in this stage. Kinda sad they're almost done, actually. <laughs> they make these games, but they're not terribly long, you know? Or at least this one isn't terribly difficult to get everything in. But anyway, yeah. Uh, you think they would go for like a Qantas sticker on one of these planes? But no. Also, that's a space rocket or something, I don't know. It's probably a plane with nothing in it, but... Oh, um, okay, sure. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Basically, I'm going just for that guy. Or maybe I think there's a secret token at the top of the thing, actually. Okay. There you go. Something like you. Yeah, there's a secret token at the top of here. Ooh. Don't stop playing. Pfft, face plant. Again with the fans. Ooh. I think I messed this up. Yeah, I messed this up. I'm gonna back it down.
So basically, I'm using this just because then I can float on down to the other side. Oh, and then I can pick up that guy. And we can basically just go over here, though. Hello. And now we just got one more guy. We just gotta talk to Ham at the very beginning and then we're good. And then I guess we'll head back to stage seven because we got the rocket, whatever, the hover boots. <coughs> so anyway, yeah, since we're pretty much near the end of the LP, I may as well say it was fun just going back to this. I'm probably never gonna play this game ever again on camera. Just because I know some people are probably going to be sick of it. Considering this is my third time playing it. But I'm also kind of using this as just a, a placeholder. Just because I need to... I, I need to delay the time when I can actually start recording stuff using, using the film. Because I, I want to stick off the Wii library. And if I play something I've already played before, then I guess it's okay. But... I want to provide proper commentary on this rather than just going, Oh, the final blow! The final blow! I was saying that like way late. Because seriously, that really torments me. Just watching my old videos. Right, Kate? Mm -hmm. Watching my old videos torments me. So anyway, before we end the part, let's head back to Al's toy barn because we got to collect all those little chicks. we got to pick up the chicks. And the annoying thing is that The annoying thing is that we've gone through this stage already, so unfortunately... We're, and unfortunately I collected four of them, because I forgot the fact that... They already collected us. Anyway, there's a chick up there, so that's why I'm doing this one first thing. Oh gosh. Let's see how fast we can actually do this. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I jumped over the thingy. Ah, oh, gosh. Thank you for delaying video. I'm just gonna go over here now. Grab the chicken that's, uh... Actually, there's a couple of chickens over here. I'm gonna do the hover boot one first, because I know you guys haven't seen that yet. Oh, you suck. Pfft. Just yell that the game sucks. Jump, Mega Man. Okay, what are we doing? Oh yeah, got the green laser. What is with these boxes? Hey, hey jump over here. Ah. There should be a chick. There you go, that's the chick that we were missing the whole time. There wasn't a chick back up there, wasn't there? Nah. That's not every hot dog. Ow. Ow. I'll stuff you. Problem is, yeah, no dual analog movements, so when you go into first person, you can't really do anything. It's like met it's like uh, other end. Except the sun's better anyway. Check up here? Nope, that was just another token. Why did I go up here? <laughs> Jump! 
Check. I don't want to be in the way with my laser. Ball. Ball. Okay, so two chicks down. Checking the time, yo. Ah, oh, gosh! Rockets in my feet. Yeah, it's night time right now for some reason. I forgot to hit the switch. I'm in, I'm a Dumbo pants. I'm not sure if you knew that. Did you know that already? No, oh, I don't need you to tell me about the rocket boots. I need you to give me the rocket boots. Oh, come on, you idiot. You jumped again. Yeah, I explored that with my knee. Took an hour to the knee, I took an airplane to the knee. Yale. That's 25 cents to operate this point, really, but apparently I just keep going for it. Using up this kid's lunch money faster than. faster than, um. the new DLC pack for Battlefield. Again, ranting on Battlefield, I should stop doing that because someone is gonna go. Someone is gonna face plant. No, someone is going to. Yell at me because I managed to do this on my first go, and the fact that I can't seem to do it anymore. Are you having trouble slicing your onions? That's what the TV's going. The second half, I was gonna go like, oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Because the next two are over here now. Balls! I should probably be commentating. Bong. I don't really have that much to say. I'm pushing boxes and collecting chicks. Last chick, last chick somewhere around here. I think it's up on that ledge. <coughs> I've got a little bit of a cough. Oh. Sorry. I should not be interested because the internet. Is it gonna be out of me though? Okay! Speaking of the internet, you can buy a helmet! That's the brand. I like how these hula hoops, they just bounce right back. Anyway, so we got all the chicks. This chick is chicken. So anyway, we're gonna exit level just because we're almost done with this game anyway. What is with him flying? Like I know he can't fly really, but holy crap, we got a chicken. This game is instantly a thousand times better.
Okay, so... Anyway, then, so next time we're just gonna jump onto Tarmac Trouble and we'll finish the game. See you kids then.